fly! Fly with me! Fly, fly, hashtag fly! Fly! I'm Spongebob! <laughs> um, how did I get into the entertainment business? I started it out by not being able to speak. I was born in Australia, but being Chinese. Uh, my parents are from Hong Kong. I grew up in a country town in Australia where we were about one or two Asian families in, in the town. And um, I spoke Chinese for the first six, Cantonese for the first six years of my life before school started. But when I went to school, suddenly all these people around me were speaking English. And I was like, going, what? My brain was frying up and everything, and um, I went mute. I just stopped talking. And that kind of freaked out my parents, freaked out my teachers. And so they took me to a speech therapist. They said, why don't you do speech and drama? So my parents were like, yeah, okay, cool, let's do speech and drama. Give them the confidence, they can kind of talk about public speaking and all that stuff. And bang, um, I was in speech and drama in primary school. I did a fourth through primary school to kind of get my confidence up and everything, get my language back. Parents are like, yay, he's speaking. And then they said, I really want to be an actor now. And they're like, oh, no, that's that idea. And uh, yeah, from then on, I've been bugging them to, you know, let me pursue acting as a career. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Roboto. Is that right? That's spooky, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Michi, I think, uh, well, I mean, uh, another, I mean, another interesting character I played was um, for uh, Apprentice which has been um, launched at um, the Cannes Film Festival. It was directed by uh, Wu Jung Fung. I played an inmate who was executed by hanging. The act of being hung was very interesting because he actually did stand on the trap door with the noose around your neck. And I remember that because on one, in the very first take when they're supposed to pull the thing, they told me that um, they're not actually going to pull it because they're going to cut to another shot and then they pull it. Cause, um, but in the first take of me, with the noose around my neck, which was a working noose attached to the thing, uh, with a working trap door, um, they didn't tell me at that point they had actually taken out the pin to unlock the mechanism. So when they did the take, the actor actually pulled the lever and I've got a hood over my head, so I heard the lever being pulled and I almost just shat myself because I thought I was about to drop through the trap trap door. And that was the most scariest experience. Because <laughs> I just heard just kunch, and went, ah! and my, my bum just went Psh! really, 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 really small. Because I, I, they didn't tell me that they actually disabled, they had disabled the, the opening mechanism. So as far as I knew it, that was a working lever until it didn't work. But for that one millisecond, I, my, my life literally flashed before my eyes. That was a memorable character. Because <laughs> I almost died. No, I didn't. It was a very safe. It was a very safe. It was a very safe shoot. It just it was a slight miscommunication at that point. Hi, I'm Christine Chan. Thank you for flying with me. See you guys on the airwaves.